Hey Hair Rules fam, this is your favorite texture guru, Dickie. And today we're talking about one of my favorite oh. things, which is hair care. And um, one of our favorite flavors, which is Quench Ultra Rich Conditioner. Um, and I've said before that conditioners have the ability to be your moisture pack, your mask, your deep conditioner, your co-wash. Um, and they mean a lot of things to a lot of different textures. That's why I'm really excited to talk about hair care because it really affords versatility. So if anybody wanted to switch up their hair or have natural hair and blow dry it straight or have color treated hair, the uh, healthy hair affords you to be able to move through all those um, beautiful, versatile ways that you can wear your hair. The women love to wear their hair. So for instance, Emily has color treated hair. It's long and it's been there forever. I call it um, aging hair. <laughs> um, I hesitate to call it elderly hair, but we're gonna reverse the damaging effects of age to hair. Um, as of course this has been, this is hair that gets constantly stripped with cleansers. Um, that you, what do you shampoo your hair with? Normally, is it a, a, a lathering bubble shampoo? Yeah. Okay, so and she loves to, and she shouldn't, but she does. And um, we'll introduce her to another one that's um, highly recommended for her color treated hair. But more importantly, it's what you do with this hair texture so that it stays healthy and versatile, and her color um, stays rich and lovely, um, and cre uh, doesn't um, frizz up and dry out and break off. So, for instance, Emily will, will talk to you about how to apply a mask using Hair Rules Ultra Rich Quench Conditioner. When you use masks, and we're going to use the Quench Ultra Rich Conditioner as a mask, um, Emily's freshly shampooed, and putting a, um, a mask or a condi conditioner on wet hair really doesn't give the full effect of how much um, how much attention that the, the strands of the hair get because they're saturated with too much water. So taking as much of the water out of your hair as possible um, gives you the maximum results of, uh, of quench conditioner. And more importantly, quench conditioner is packed full of coconut, avocado, glycerin, and putting it, as you can see, it's super thick, right? So this is your mask. Right? So applying it to Emily's hair that is, um, that is damp and not full of uh, saturated with water will help it to work more intensely. So it will enrich her strands better. And more importantly, it's, you, as you apply a mask, you generally comb it through or brush it through in a way that covers great uh, coverage um, and particularly Silken's the cuticle. And noticing I'm not really putting it on the roots of Emily's hair because she's got kind of a wavy one to two type of texture which gets flat, but her long hair needs as much nourishment as possible. Making sure that you use a super concentrated conditioner like Quench Ultra Rich Conditioner is going to help keep her hair nourished and detangled. And I really like combing it through because it helps to seal the cuticle. So for instance, for a daytime look, I'm going to just do a top knot ponytail. Thick and concentrated. 
essentially Emily could work, walk around the house, do all of her Zoom calls, look really cute, put together. And at the end of the day, so your 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 mask doesn't necessarily have, necessarily have to be done at night as much as it can be done throughout your schedule during, during the day. Because remember, it's supposed to go on hair that's not super wet. It should go on at full strength. It's super concentrated. And you, at the end of your little treatment or wearable therapy, I call it, you could simply do your blowout or your 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 just stop your. Um, style as you would normally would at the end of the day or before you're ever going to show up on your other call with a different hairdo, right? <laughs>